Hey everyone, uh, this is Trevor here. So today we will be understanding how does binary lifting on Fenwick tree actually works. So if you do not know Fenwick tree, this video is not for you. So just get back to my previous tutorial on Fenwick tree, watch that over and then you can start again because this is a continuation video of that because I've taken the same arrays and the same Fenwick tree. So if you do not see that, you will not understand how do we arrive at this Fenwick tree. So again, the reference is given to the code forces block and the top coder block. So if you find any problems in my explanation, you can refer to the blocks also and the values are same. So you will not face any problem in doing so. So the context in which binary lifting is used is let's say you have update and if you have something like low bound, like let's say I want to find the low bound of 11. Now let's say I want to find the low bound of the prefix sum of 11. So, you know, this is one till here. This is three till here. This is four till here. This is five till here. This is eight till here. This is eight again. This is 12. So you don't have 11, but you have something greater than 11, that is 12. So the first element that is either equal to 11 or either greater than 11. So that is your low bound. So the index 8 is your low bound over here. So this is what you need to find. The index till which the prefix sum is a low bound. So the update operation can be simply done in log of n that we have already done in Fenwick 3 tutorial, right? Now, what if I want to find the low bound? So let's discuss about it. Let's say I want to find the low bound of 11. So what we know is there might be an index which gives prefix sum as 11 or there might not be. It will be better if I can find an index which gives you a prefix sum which is less than 11. So if I can find the rightmost index that gives you a prefix sum of less than 11, like over here, like over here, till here, the summation was 8. So this is the rightmost index. So 7 is the rightmost index which gives you a prefix sum less than 11. So I can simply add one to it and I'll get eight, which will have either sum as 11 or greater than 11. So this is the first observation. So the next observation that we will be using is every number can be represented in powers of twos and we'll actually use that to solve it. Let's see how. So whatever is the size of the array, you take the highest power of two. So two to the power of four. So e even if the size was 20, you would have taken two to the power of four. Even if the size was 31, you'd have taken two to the power of four. If the size was 32, it would have taken to the power 5, highest power of 2. So we know the number that we are finding low bound for is 11. So 2 to the power 4 means 16. So you go to the pen victory and check out what is the sum at 16. So the sum at 16 is 29. So can we take 29? No, because 29 will exceed 11. But we need something lesser than 11, so we will not take 29. So at the next step, we decrease the value of the power. 2 to the power 3. So 2 to the power 3 means 8, so we move to 8. So remember one thing, initially you are at 0. So that is why you are moving to 8 directly, 0 plus 8, 0 plus 16. So you move to 8. So what is the sum? 12. Now again, this is greater than 11. So this cannot be taken. So you reduce the power by one more. So that is 2 to the power 2. So 2 to the power 2 means 4. So 0 plus 4 means this. So this stores a sum of 4. So we can take this. So whenever you are taking something, you move this pointer to 1 ahead. So we reach over here. And the sum is added as? 4 because at 2 to the power 2, that is 4th index, we had a sum of 4. So we again reduce it to 2 to the power 1. So 2 to the power 1 means 2. So from 4, you will add 2 and you will reach to 6. So you can see this stores the sum between 5 and 6 because you have already taken the sum. So the next sum that you require is from 5 to 6. So the sum stored is 4. So can we take this? Yes, we can take this also. Why? Because 4 plus 4 is 8 and that is less than 11. So we take this and we move one step ahead. So we have eight as our sum till now. So this is taken and we move this point ahead. And now our pointer stands at six. So at the next step, I move to two to the power zero. Now, what does two to the power zero means? One. So from six, you check out what is the one element to the right, that is seven. So at seven, we add zero. So if we add zero, so four plus four plus zero, that is eight. So we can move. So we move to seven. So you are now standing at 7. Again, decrease it. So you move to 2 to the power minus 1. So whenever you get something lesser than 0, you stop. So you are now standing at the index 7. So since you are standing at index 7, so till now you have gathered sum as 8. Now you know this is the highest index. So the answer will be 8 because we add 1 to it and the index is 8. And if you carefully see, 8 has from 1 to 8, that is 12. So that is the lower bound of 11. So this is how you can use binary lifting because every number can be represented as a power of two. So let's take one more example where the sum appears in the prefix array. 
So if I take 27, so the low bound will be this. You can check that out by summing up from 0 to 14. Uh, the sum will be 27 over here, 27 over here, 29 over here. So we have 227. So we require the minimum index. So the low bound is 27. So how do you get this 27? So let's perform a binary lifting for this. So initially you're standing at this index, 0. So the first is 2 to the power 2. That means 16. So 0 plus 16 takes you to this. The sum over here is 29, which cannot be taken. So we reduce it. 2 to the power 3. 2 to the power 3 means 8. 0 plus 8 takes you to this portion. Can we take this? Yes, we can take this because 12 is lesser than 27. So let's take it. So we take 12 and move this pointer and reduce the power by 1. So 2 to the power 2 at the next step. So 2 to the power 2 means 4. So from 8, you move 4 steps ahead. So this is this. So the sum over there is 11. And if you can see it, the sum is between 9 and 12. Since we have already taken the entire sum from here to here, we only require this sum now. So it's 11. So can you take 11? Yes, because 12 plus 11 gives you 23. So that can be taken. So we take this and we move our pointer to here. We are standing over here. So the next is 2 to the power 1. So that means 2. So if we take 2, so we'll reach here. But then the sum that is added is 4. So if we add 4 to it, what we will get is 27, but that is not less than 27. So we cannot take this. So the next step, what we do is, we do not take this. And we still now stand at 12, 2 to the power 0. So 2 to the power 0 means 1. So we move one step ahead. Can we take this? Yes, because if we add 3, we get 26, which is less than 27. So we take this and we move our pointer to here. So we are standing at 13 and we have exhausted our powers of 2. So since we are standing at 13, our answer is 14 now. So this is how you can get your low bound. So just imagine if you would have taken this to the power 1. So you would have reached 14, right? And the summation would have been 27. And you would have reached 14. So the next one that would have occurred is 2 to the power 0. So 2 to the power 0 means 1. So you would have added 0 to it. So 27 plus 0 would have been still now less than or equal to 27. So you would have moved one step ahead. So in doing so, what you do is you actually lose your low bound. But that is why it is preferable to find the maximum index, which is less, and then simply add 1 to it. So I have solved a follow-up problem on binary lifting using Fenwick. Please, so you can check the link out in the description. So let's quickly check out how the code look like. So this find helps me to find the low bound of K. So I just uh, loop from log base to N. I loop till I greater than or equal to zero, I minus minus. Uh, you can see a lot of people write it from 20. So that is for safety purposes. Whenever they declare something globally like 10 to the power six, because I know every element towards the right of N will be zero. So for safety purposes, you can also write 20, but I will be exact over here. So I will log base to N. So I know the highest power is log base to N. And I have to iterate as 0. So what I do check is I know current index is 0 because I know at starting I'm standing at 0. So I'll add to the power i and I'll check if the value at that, that is the Fenwick tree's value plus previous sum, that is the sum what I have got till now, it doesn't cross the scale. So I can take that. If I'm taking that, I got to move that pointer to the pointer that we were moving. So we can simply move it by to the power i, that is one left shift, left shift of i. So once you have done that, we can add the new sum that we are taking to the previous sum. So once you have done for the entire powers of 2, we know the answer will be index plus 1. So, so the last index at which we were standing is curl plus 1 and we can add 1 to that because that is our answer. So this is all about the video. Now let's talk about connecting. If you want to connect me over LinkedIn, this is my profile. If you want to join our Telegram channel, the link is in the description. If you have liked the video, press the like button. If you have disliked the video, press the dislike button. If you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and to press the bell icon.